Welcome to the Windows channel and this is a quick tips and tricks video once again. So have you ever updated a driver in Windows to find that the new driver crashes your system or the new driver um, changes the capabilities of your PC somehow depending on what you have changed or upgraded and you wish you just hadn't done it. There's an easy way to roll back when you have a new driver. Typically, most of the time when a new driver is installed in Windows, the old driver is still stored in the list of drivers available. All you need to do, right click on your Windows uh, 10 Start button, go into the Device Manager. If you are on Windows 7 or on Windows 8, this also works, so uh, check it out. And basically, you choose your driver. So say, for example, my pad for my touchpad for my uh, PC had a problem at some point with a new driver that was installed. So you double click on the driver and you go into driver and here you'll see something called rollback driver. This will roll back to the previous driver or in the case where there's a lot of drivers available it might ask you which version do you want to have. So for example I also have a serial to USB adapter that has several versions of drivers I've installed over the years but only one works without crashing. So by rolling back driver I can choose the exact version so that's another cool thing about this. So rollback driver. If for example your rollback driver is not available like for example let's say the display here driver you see that it's grayed out that means no driver is available to roll back to so in some cases there are drivers that update that don't have a rollback possible but uh, the majority of the time when you upgrade a driver it actually has a rollback that will give you uh, better uh, performance if something is crashing or something is not going right one last thing about this if it's an auto Matic download from Windows Update into the drivers. Remember that if you roll back the driver, Windows will want to re-download that uh, driver again. So you might want to uh, basically um, put yourself in metered connection or something until some something is fixed. But uh, it can happen that if it's a Windows Update that did it, uh, it might want to re-download that update. But in case where you did it manually or um, you know you downloaded a an update because something was wrong or something has changed and then you find that it's worse, you can of course roll back the drivers in the device manager. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe to my channel. You'll be informed when new videos are online. Give us thumbs up. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, let us know. I hope that my tips and tricks video are helping you have a better day on your PC.